Archaeological discoveries are fascinating, and each addition to our understanding of the ancient past leaves us wanting more. For example, archaeologists recently discovered Zeus's god temple, which had been undiscovered for thousands of years. What is the significance of this Zeus temple? Let's find out. Hello and welcome back to the Abandoned Archaeologist again, the channel to learn all about ancient archaeological findings. Today we'll discuss the discovery of Zeus's ancient god temple that has been sealed for thousands of years. But before we begin to get your attention, we have a question you can answer at the end of the video by watching it. What element is Zeus most famous for being the god of? So write down your answer in the comment section and see if you got it right. Here we begin. The god of the sky, Zeus in Greek mythology, was thought to be omnipresent and aware of people's daily lives. Given Zeus's Greek roots and his magnificent temple in Olympia, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the only Zeus temples are in Greece. A new discovery in Egypt calls that notion into question. Egypt's Tourism and Antiquities Ministry announced in a statement that archaeologists had discovered the remains of a Zeus-inspired temple in the Sinai Peninsula. The temple is dedicated to Zeus Cassios, a deity who combines the Greek god Zeus and Mount Cassios. The mountain, located on the border of Syria and Turkey, is associated with a legendary battle between Zeus and the monster Typhon to determine who would rule the cosmos. Cassios, now known as Jebel Akra, is known for its frequent thunderstorms and became an important worship site in many ancient traditions. According to Judith Sudilovsky of the Jerusalem Post, the fusion of God and mountain is an example of the legacy of religious multiculturalism in antiquity. Secretary General of Egypt's Antiquities Council, Mustafa Waziri, said in a statement that the team identified the Zeus Cassios Temple using the remains of 6.5 foot tall pink granite pillars that once served as a temple's entrance gate. He added that the columns could have collapsed due to an earthquake. Archaeologists also discovered some granite blocks at the site, which were mostly likely part of a staircase used by worshippers to access the temple. The site was previously excavated in the early 20th century. Jean Cladat, a French Egyptologist looking for Christian monuments in Egypt, discovered Greek carvings at the site mentioning Zeus Cassios. However, Cladat never excavated the entire site, and modern archaeologists are now in charge. They rediscovered the Cladat stone and discovered a similar stone with Greek carvings, as well as evidence that the pink stones from the temple were reused in other structures. Also, researchers discovered the entrance gate to yet another of the gods' temples in what is now Turkey's ancient Greek city of Magnesia. Magnesia is an ancient Greek city in Asia Minor that is now part of Turkey's Aydin province, was home to a precious stadium, temples, and other monuments. It has now revealed another of its ancient treasures, the gate to a Zeus temple. Turkish archaeologists earlier excavating Magnesia for decades rediscovered the temple's gate, which was discovered in the 1890s by an archaeologist who reburied much of what he discovered. The location is not far from another temple dedicated to the Greek goddess Artemis, which has already been discovered. The entrance gate to the Zeus temple was discovered as part of ongoing excavations in the Ortaklar area led by Ankara University Associate Professor Gorkem Kokdemir. According to Kokdemir, the incredible treasures of the ancient Greek city of Magnesia were first discovered during the Ottoman Empire's final years. Karl Hummann, a German archaeologist who excavated in Bergama and other cities in western Anatolia, excavated in Magnesia from 1891 to 1892. According to Kokdemir, Hummann was the first modern person to discover the temple dedicated to Zeus, but much of it was later reburied. The city of Magnesia, located in Turkey's Aydin province, has historical riches coveted by archaeologists of the time. Unfortunately, Kuman simply carted off much of what he discovered and gave it to his own country's government, as was common at the time. Visitors can also see parts of the Temple of Zeus that stands 5.5 to 6 meters tall at the Pergamon Museum in Berlin. He bemoans that the temple's architecture was completed with 90% imitation parts. According to the archaeologist, the Zeus Temple is one of Magnesia's most essential sacred sites. According to Kokdemir, his archaeological team is excavating what remains of the Temple of Zeus, including its gate to gain additional architectural information, complete what information is still missing, and reintroduce the temple to rigorous archaeological study. According to the Magnesia excavation team, they expect to find 60 to 70 percent of the original parts of the Temple of Zeus temple. Then, they intend to restore the temple, adding pillars measuring 5 meters in height and reconstructing the roof, making it a public site. 
Magnesia was founded around 2,400 years ago in the 4th century BC. The temples built for gods and goddesses, as well as the festivals and games organized for these deities, Kaktimir observes. The Temple of Artemis is the largest religious structure in Magnesia out of all the ancient structures. Kaktimir claims it is the fourth largest temple in Anatolia, after Ephesus' Temple of Artemis. This was once considered one of the seven wonders of the world. The Temple of Artemis, built by Hermogenes, was his masterpiece. According to Kaktimir, one of the reasons Magnesia was so important in ancient Greece was that in the 3rd century BC, 2,300 years ago, there were games organized that were the equivalent of the most important games in the Mediterranean region, the Delphi Apollo Games. Participants from Italy, Greece, many points in Anatolia, and the islands participated in the five-day games according to Cogdemir. The games emphasized Magnesia's significance while also assisting the city's growth and development. The discovery doesn't end here, as archaeologists also have unearthed a terrifying relic suggesting that ancient Romans fed their captives to lions. Even though Britain was on the outskirts of the ancient Roman Empire, executions appeared to have been bloody spectacles. Archaeologists believe lions were occasionally used to kill terrified captives, and they now have evidence. During the University of Leicester's excavations on the site of a Roman house in 2016, scholars discovered a carved bronze key handle depicting a man engaged in combat with a ferocious lion in front of four naked and fearful youths. According to a study, the scene suggests a public execution. Criminals and prisoners of war could be thrown into wild beasts under Roman law. Such scenes are well documented in Rome's Colosseum, but this is the first evidence that the practice of using exotic animals to kill prisoners for public entertainment, Domnatio ad bestias in Latin, spread as far as Britain. According to London Times, Rome would have sourced lions from Mesopotamia and North Africa and transported them to the empire's far reaches by riverboat and wagon. The man fending off the lion on the key handle is likely a barbarian, with his long hair, bushy beard, and shirtless torso. The scene depicts the impending destruction of those conquered by the Romans, symbolizing the futility of opposing the all-powerful empire. Archaeologists believe it was made around 200 AD, a century after Roman rule was imposed in Britain. Excavations in Leicester have also turned up mosaic floors, roads, and a Roman-era theater. When the current renovations are completed in 2023, the piece will be displayed at the Jury Royal Museum in Leicester. What do you think of this Zeus Temple discovery? And the answer to the question we have asked is weather. Comment your views and subscribe for more.